get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life Located in the wharf area of Washington, D.C., Mi Vida translates to my life. However, in Mexico, Mi Vida means much more. Mi Vida is a term of endearment bestowed on close family and friends to signify love, care, and importance. When one says Mi Vida, they are telling someone special how much they mean to them. Mi Vida describes how we feel about our team and our guests. It is an expression of Mexican culture and cuisine as interpreted through the lens of Chef Roberto Santibanez. Our menu is rooted in the history and culinary tradition of Mexico while exploring the ever-changing boundaries of this vibrant and evolving cuisine. This is taken from the website MiVidaMexico.com. Okay, y'all, this is my cafe con leche, frappe con frappe, leche frappe, I don't forget. And it's like a cold brew with cream. And Gosh, I need the menu. I need the menu again. And then this is uh, um, <laughs> deviled eggs, pepina, and something to that effect. I forgot. <laughs> Can I actually see the brunch menu again? Absolutely. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Is this alcohol in this? Did I not read the menu right? That's why it was $14. I think this is alcohol. <laughs> Want to taste? Taste it and tell me. That is, that is, and I'm not a fan. You might be tasting from the top. Remember how it had the layers and I mixed it up? It does kind of taste like, like a like a like a Kahlua almost. Like there's something in there. But it is fourteen dollars. I mean, I guess you get that glass too. But I don't know. <laughs> she said she guess I get the glass too. I'm trying to be out here. I'm trying to be grown and sexy in these Biden streets. Hello. All right, here we go. Thank you. Y'all, okay. The Cafe Frappe is, girl, the first ingredient, rum. European Charanda rum. I don't even know if I'm reading any of it right. Rum Pope. Cold brew coffee, Biscoff called cookie butter, sweet vanilla cream. And then the eggs are huevos rellenos, green pepian deviled eggs. Guys, let me let you read this because can't nobody read. Look at that. And then that. <laughs> then my coffee con leche. And then that, where I should have went simple. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all, this is our fancy food. This is my tacos. And it, apparently it comes with a soup. And that's butternut squash and cornbread. Now, let's go take all the pictures. Looks good. don't know because some of y'all think I'm crazy and I'm a crazy morning person this chick it's Sunday she called me at 6 30 this morning 
It didn't talk about some she gonna be at my house. I think you were trying to say at seven at first. No, 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 it's gonna be eight. Oh, seven. it was always gonna be eight. Yes. Oh, seven was too soon. Mm -hmm. I woke up like, hello. She did not care. She gave no Fs. <laughs> and so that's the other thing. Most of my friends are also morning people. And those of you who not, I'm trying to convert you. Let's taste the spoon. Let's taste her butternut squash. Look at it. It got like stuff on it. That's good. Mm -hmm. Can you cut me a piece of your cornbread? You got a low tip? Mm -hmm. Now that I got all this food, I think I'm good. <laughs> all right, cornbread. Mmm, that has an interesting flavor. It's good though. It almost says like, is that oranges? Or orange? It's probably some kind of glaze. Mmm. I think so because I can have sort of an orange right here. Mmm, like an almond zest and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. That just shows you like, how much you can do with food. You have to change one little thing. And, and that's why understanding your palate is good because when you know, you be like, hmm, I think some lemon zest would go good with this mm -hmm. or some. Yep. How is everything this one. Has cafe? Oh no, yet. Let me know when you get it. Oh, the avocado dressing you put on the taco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know you don't know what you're doing with the avocado on the taco. And that's like the tomatillo, I believe. You taste the soup. <laughs> Mm. It's like a bean, mm -hmm. like a bean soup. I wonder if I put the soup on the taco too. Mm. 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 Try these tacos. That's tomatillo sauce. Hmm. Oh, is it hot? Let me taste it. <laughs> No, it's not hot. So I was going in. It tastes um it's avocado thin. Yeah. What's it called? Tomatillo. Tomatillo sauce. T O M I L L O. So it makes it. It makes it good. A really good, really good job. That is in tune with her black and her butter. Making both kinds of dishes. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. So, that's right. All right, y'all. For this all my life, it's just my type. I've been